Spice looking to take the fight to this T side. A lovely one tap from Paz and Bayaz grabs a second out of nowhere. They're starting to run out of options here. AGO five on three. Flash is coming over the top as well for the CT side. Trying to swarm in support. Furland though with a lovely headshot traded almost instantly. Finally. Imor is able to connect and into the four on two we go with Furlan and Sydney both tagged up significantly. The Molotov of the break. This is not looking good. Engine grabs one and the last man alive on low HP is going to be an EG's. Paz on the lonely M4 gets a beautiful peek through the sandbags. That little corner really has become a bit of a meta play as the SMGs look to be proactive. What a punish to the Demise boys, but such good use of the utility. Furlan, he's, he's being flanked. He's being covered from all sides here. The headshot finally going to come in. Give himself a little bit of an unusual angle and he's going to benefit as well. Mini able to trade him out at the very least and that M4 should be recoverable as Paz on the off angle with the M4. Sydney going for a headshot duel here. One on one. Bayaz is going to win it. Have to get you more frags than this. Mini hiding efficiently behind the generators, but Furlan's got him. And now it starts to get a little bit awkward as ever. Very, very cautious. I don't think Furlan has given the information and a lovely headshot from Bayaz. One on one. Polish player. There we go. MHL pushing up. Very aggressive on the left-hand side. Can Bayaz connect with the headshot here? Needs to time this well. Needs to clear all his angles. He's looking the wrong way. And MHL on low HP. It's Mark as MHL looks to go for the wall bang, But Paz has got the better of him. Ducking down now to try and buy himself as much time as possible. Teammates getting aggressive. But the frag's being traded. One out. Doesn't need to be aggressive here. Can just run down from the boost spot. And he might get the pick here. Lovely shot. Traded in. AGO pull these kind of clutches out before. But the peak. Just not beneficial for the He has not peaked whatsoever. He's just waiting for the timing. And there we go. He gets one. He looks for more. He gets the second engine. Looking to turn this spot into a slaughterhouse. Got the third. Now Paz chimes in. And it's a quad of himself. That AWP. But again, Demise very aggressive. Paz and Bay has a frag of peace. And Paz once more. He's looking for the triple as well. The trade. Clearing it for the time being. So that's going to be a freebie. And indeed, engine just going to clean up house. They're going to head aggressively towards the B bomb site. But engine counter aggression. Lovely shot on the Deagle from MHL before. He's taken down by that Orpa. Passive angle. No need to contest the Deagles in this situation. Wait for XCOM AGO to come to you. And indeed, Bayaz just... First player might give this plan away, but the low HP pass is going to go down. The Orp reaction time's not quite there as Imor and Mini may well walk into the crosshairs here. Almost as slightly. He gives away his position with the utility. Only one angle to cover now, but the timing not quite good as Groovy gets the frag. It's all on to Bayaz. One on one. He just needs to play this efficiently. He's got time on his side as Groovy walks right into the crosshairs. But Paz on this backstab has such a huge opportunity. MHL out in the open. That's an easy frag. Low HP Furlan is found as well. And Bayaz just starts to clean up himself in suspended between three players. And he is going to be found. Before he really knows what's him. Engine on the back flank is going to be spotted out all too easily by Furlan to make it 5 on take to contend with. And with Mini and Paz brought low, this could be very, very awkward. Edge of the box. Furlan is going to push on towards the death of the first half of Vertigo. Of course, the second round for AGO. They get something going is beautifully effective. Lemon up on the headshot angle, but Imor has read it. And Paz, as he gets Molotov now, is using his teammates' flashbangs, allowing Bayas to get aggressive and grab himself the double kill. Single-handedly locking out that A-bomb site. To try and lock out at least a couple of peaks from the Demise boys. Lovely timing from Mini. Actually going to mean the team Molotov blocks his own teammate off of the situation. Mini traded one for one, but it's Groovy left in the one versus four. And the backstab is so, so good again. Bayas over on that flank is going to get aggression towards mid. And Imor looking for peaks. As well, what a flick from him or to take down the bomb jump. four. And again, Edge gonna go for the boost up. This time it's gonna work out. No Molotov for AGO to clear that one out. As Lemon at the very least is able to find one in response. Play round the edge of his own smoke, giving himself the angle, but Engine has got the config, has got the read, and Lemon can only find one in response before he's taken down. Aggressively towards this A bomb site. The Molotov hatching and a force engine off the angle, but somehow he still wins the fight. He still tries to escape and manages it as well. He has backup. Furlan brought down low. Isn't quite going to be found by Bayas, who has to fall off the angle. The tags are good for the T side of AGO at the very least, but you can see the nays just start to rain in from the CT side as Engine on 9 HP gets his second frag of the round into the 5 on 3 now as well. As the Molotovs go deep from the CT side, they know AGO are heading towards this A bomb site as it stands. And Mini's trying to push on through. He's trying to cut off the rotation back towards B. Bomb goes down. Bayaz and Imor, a frag apiece. And MHL, he's got an AK-47. He's got no utility. And he's found himself one versus five here, trying to cover any angles at all.
but Bayaz is just they are swarming onto this site. All five players just looking to rush straight on through. Flashbangs galore go over the top, and finally some opening kicks go AGO's way. They grab themselves three as Mini's only able to find the first, and Bayaz is being brought down low before he wins that angel. But somehow Engine on the backstab able to find a good frag before he's caught with an eight out and traded. It's all onto Bayaz. 15 HP. The Molotov's going to do some work for him, but it's going to be a very, very difficult task. And indeed. I mean, do you really see it happening here as the Rise, again, get very aggressive? They're only going to find the one At least they have found themselves the one-for-one one trade. Those tend to favor T-sides, especially on maps like these. They really have no business winning. Groovy, though, with a beautiful Bayaz shot. has John done just that, just on top of the forklift. Has the angle, has the shot. MHL goes down. And somehow, Demise is just making everything work. Paz is very surprised that Demise give him any more here. He will get one at the very least. Looking to bait Paz in, but he's traded out. So it's going to be... They are looking to push right into things here, but Demise, they're already out on the site. What can Groovy get done? Lovely flashbang. He finds one before he's traded, but Mini grabbing another out in the middle of nowhere. It's all on Groovy. Somehow, Groovy gets the triple before he's taken down. He buys his team. play on engine at this point. The information given away. Him or just playing the angles, playing the time and getting the headshot by XCOM AGO. They do try and grab themselves whatever they can. Couple of MP9s, three pistols to work with, and they're going to get aggressive this time. Berlin out in the open. Very proactive, but the yeah, Mac 10s actually not getting too much done. A three for to trade it's down to an ak and a mac 10 to try and recover this situation for demise and they have no idea the backstab is coming in and inside the support is largely towards a and he's out in the open mini's gonna get a freebie here go for the bomb plant he has the after plant situation two rounds away from their first victory of esca mdl season 32 and he's got the opening pick he spots the second player as well i believe he's not quite sure he's seen him though this is a huge opportunity the mp9 comes through the door mhl he clutched it once before the ct side the mp9 trying to push on in and he will find the opening pick trade well, out of the over on the T side of things here demise they just look like they've got the measure of their opponents as they are going to head again towards this a bomb site they they to make this situation winnable groovy has managed to rotate in in the meanwhile making mini's job absolutely essential groovy out in the open found on the one for one trade it is mhl versus mini 2k in the one on one mini spotted out edge of the smoke the five seven comes out for mhl and he finds the radio Again, looking for that CT aggression early on, but Bayaz and Imor finding frags. MHL brought down to 8 HP. The CT's trying to replicate the success of Demise, but it is not working out at all. MHL out in the open is going to be the third catch. Very least, Groovy has got himself the AK-47, trying to be proactive, trying to find a refrag, but he's taken down, make your way around, but the backstab is actually covered. And he's not quite aware of the angle, will be taking so much work. He's wedged himself into the corner. He will find one. He looks for the second. He grabs it as well. Looking for more. He's finally taken down, but there's good damage in the fast flank could be so so good groovy gets one more a second for sydney and it's all on my channel to you guys you get back to doing what i do and it's like plenty of smokes and flashes going over the top they're not committing to things yet as groovy looks to lock it down and he's got the angle as well not quite connecting with the headshots though the molotov's going to keep him very busy indeed as the push looks to come through groovy with it all to do will find the initial headshot the reload coming in but bayaz has got him through the edge of the smoke into the two on three the smoke is good for sydney and lemon grabs another somehow xcom ago rescue the five on this early utility actually working out beautifully for AGO. They're getting the advantage in this situation, but Furlan a little bit too keen. Lobs another nade down, but pays his life for it. And I don't think he'll think that trade is worth it whatsoever. Pop flash to come out for the Demise boys, and they've got the picks out in the open. Next man on the angle is MHL, and he MHL will. peek in the doorway, and Imor is looking for the backstab. That is the play that Demise are waiting on. They're waiting on this player, and indeed, Imor's going to find it. That bomb can actually just make its way back towards A now if it so decides, and Groovy is going to punish that. Gets the lonely player. Utility is low on AGO, and indeed it is. MHL out in the open, and Imor just about able to rein that spray in. It is all Taking on tag as well. He finally looks to stick it to my Surely you have this spray lined up. Indeed you do. A huge shot, but not quite able to connect as Lemon looks to get aggressive, and I think Demise, they're planning for this B hit. Him or taking a little chunk of nade damage down to 22. Can the CT side hold strong here for XCOM AGO? Demise, they are looking one track minded. 15 seconds left on the court. The Molotovs to keep the CT side out of things, and the backstab is good. Engine gets him himself the triple kill and it is all on to MHL he would need an absolute miracle here as it looks like the bomb will indeed go down to Mice four on one four opportunities to find this round the first a gifted frag the way of MHL but he's still got to find three more to Mice in such a good position here MHL spamming through the smoke 
trying to find anything he can, but nobody's going to give up their positions now for Demise. They still have utility to burn. Two more flashes, and Paz has got them both in hand. Imor misses the initial shot, but they're baiting him in here, and MHL, he taps the bomb once, a full 10-second defuse. There's no defuse kit available, and Demise, they're just stacking up to have a go. It will be Paz, and it will be the first victory of ESEA MDL season.